A clean aerodynamic wing is possible with uninterrupted high lift devices. Engine intakes are well up and protected by the wing flaps. Turbine discs and engine noise are behind the pressure cabin. Jet noise damage to the structure is virtually eliminated. The engines are well away from fuel tanks. The center engine is behind and below the main structure. Engines are close enough to the aircraft center line to provide excellent handling in an engine out condition, even when using reverse thrust. The out of balance moment is a quarter that of an aircraft having four wing pod engines. All these advantages have been incorporated in an aircraft designed to suit world traffic needs for many years ahead. The result? the Trident. There are versions carrying up to 108 passengers on stages well over 2,000 miles, at speeds approaching the speed of sound. This is achieved with a marked improvement in economy. In the development of the Trident design, many models, with variants on each model, were tested in the Hawker Siddeley high-speed wind tunnel, and low-speed wind tunnel at Hatfield. Many thick components have integrally machined skin and stiffeners. Chemical milling is used on double curvature skins. Following thousands of detail and sub-assembly tests, the entire Trident airframe was subjected to complementary static and fatigue testing up to the equivalent of 60,000 flights. A complete fuselage and wing assembly was submerged in a water tank for repeated loading of the flight cycle stresses. tailplane pivot are made of steel. The tailplane pivot, for example, has been tested to more than one and a half million flights. The short undercarriage, also made of steel for safe life, has two wheels on each leg, each wheel carrying two tires. This permits a small turning circle without tire scrubbing. tailplane and rudder. The pumps use Skydrol non-inflammable fluid at 3,000 pounds per square inch. Hydraulic power is used also to operate flaps, leading edge devices, spoilers, lift dumpers, undercarriage retraction, nose wheel steering, wheel brakes and screen wipers. The Trident, evolved out of collaboration with airlines over many years, offers the passenger a new experience in airline travel. Much superior speed, Cabin spaciousness, comfort, quietness, 
safety and regularity. It gives the airline a new simplicity in operation, handling, and maintenance. A great advance in airline standards and a notable improvement in economics. The Trident has seat mile costs as low as for larger aircraft. And aircraft mile cost very much lower. With an airliner backed by the worldwide resources of Hawker Siddeley, this is the beginning of a new era in jet air travel. The first version of the Trident, the Trident 1, entered service with British European Airways in March 1964. Since then, the distinctive shape of the Trident has become a familiar sight at airports throughout Europe. And BEA Trident services have become the standard by which other flights are judged. The Triton's extraordinary passenger appeal is strikingly demonstrated by traffic statistics, which show that wherever it's introduced, it's enabled BEA to increase its share of the fiercely competitive air transport market in Europe. This new version of the Trident has more powerful Rolls-Royce Spey 25 engines of increased thrust, allowing operations at higher weights. With a 60% increase in fuel tankage, the Trident 1E can fly over twice as far as the earlier Trident 1. De Havilland, the firm within the Hawker Siddeley Group specializing in civil jet aircraft, cooperated with BEA from the outset. The Trident design was evolved out of the long and successful experience gained from the Comet, the world's first jet airliner, which is being used by BEA, BOAC and many other airlines on nearly a quarter of a million miles of worldwide route. The three-engine formula meets the pilot's plea for safe and easy handling with one engine inoperative. The three-engine configuration also has other merits. 